much has been discussed about how many characters from the book were kind of reduced to comic relief for so much of their runtime, Gimli in Two Towers particularly has much of his dignity stripped away because, hey, aren't dwarves funny? Merry and Pippin also start out a lot goofier than they do in the book, although at least there it's in service of actual character arcs. Now, for the most part, I don't really dislike any of the individual comic relief moments for any of these characters, even if I wish they were tempered with a few more dignified moments, but in the general goofification of the characters, there's one moment that's not played for comic relief that really bugs me. Batman! Sure I know a Batman. He's over there. Frodo Baggins. Pippin, you blundering dolt! You literally just heard him call himself Underhill! And presumably at some point during the four chapters that were skipped between the fairy and Bree, Frodo told you how important it was to call him Underhill! I think the idea here is supposed to be that he's drunk, but it just makes him look irredeemably stupid. And the irony is, I'm pretty sure this moment is here to replace a moment the filmmakers thought was too silly for the film. In the book, Frodo's accidental disappearance at the Prancing Pony came about because the ring slipped on his finger when he got a little too into singing the extended edition of Hey Diddle Diddle the Cat and the Fiddle. Yeah, that one's a Bilbo original. But of course, that wouldn't fit in with this scary alienating version of Brie, so instead we'll just give the fool of a took the mother of all unforced errors! I'm surprised Frodo didn't just leave you there after all this.